WPI's EVOM system is popular in the research community, both in academia and in industry, and it's commonly used for the evaluation of mammalian cellular health by measuring transepithelial or transendothelial electrical resistance of cellular layers. EVOM manual is powered by the same EVOM technology as our older EVOM models. It has advanced features for performing experiments more easily. With the new touchscreen display, you can now store data as Microsoft Excel files on a USB flash drive. Just remove the flash drive with all your recorded data from the EVOM manual and plug it into a computer to access and plot your data with date and time stamps. It's as simple as it sounds. The WPI EVOM technology has over 16,000 published, peer-reviewed research papers. Here are three applications where tear measurement is commonly used. Epithelial and endothelial barrier studies. When measuring the cellular barrier function, the rise of tear values generally correlates with increased barrier function. Confluence. Similarly, the elevation of tear value to the maximum level can indicate that the cellular layer has reached confluence. Cytotoxicity. Cellular cytotoxicity can be evaluated by measuring tear. High tear values indicate a healthier cell layer. As the cells die, gaps in the cellular layer form and the tear value will drop. In recent years, EVOM technology has been used for many applications. WPI's EVOM system has been extensively used to study in vitro two-dimensional or three-dimensional tissue health and function. For high throughput drug screening and to study diseases, more research focus has been given to creating 3D in vitro tissues that resemble in vivo tissues and show consistent functional properties. Tear measurement is used as one of the methods to evaluate and compare how closely in vitro tissues can mimic in vivo tissues consistently. EVOM manual can be used in 3D in vitro models such as the blood-brain barrier lung viral infection, intestine, kidney, and liver tissues, like intestinal drug absorption studies with KCO2, three-dimensional tissue functions, and in lung in vitro models for COVID. Here are a few select scientific articles that used WPI's EVOM tier meters. If you have any questions, just give us a call.